guys, welcome back. It's Shelby. Today's video is actually a requested topic. It's for wrapping wine in cute, fun ways because unfortunately post-college sticking it in a brown paper bag isn't going to cut it anymore. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and we'll get right into it. Four cute ways to wrap wine. So for this first one, you're going to need a new tea towel and ribbon. It's perfect for like a housewarming party. It says home sweet home. Take your uh, tea towel. First of all, the one I got is uh, basically a square and then a ribbon in a complimentary shade. Since there's navy on the napkin, I chose a navy ribbon. I put it about halfway down the back of the napkin and then fold it over. This is going to secure the ribbon in place. And then what you're going to do is use that to tie it around the bottle. So I'm going to lay my bottle down and then just wrap it and pull the ribbon up and out and then wrap it the other way, pull the ribbon up and out. And what this does is it creates kind of like almost like a little apron or new label with the tea towel for the wine. It's going to hide the label of it, but it's a cute way of giving a housewarming gift, like I said, because then they get a cute little tea towel along with the wine. And then wrap the ribbon tightly around the neck of the bottle, bring it to the front, tie a knot, and then tie it into a little bow. And that's the first one done. So this is just a different angle, so you can kind of see what it looks like all together. Super cute. On to two. For this next one, you're going to need a ribbon. I chose gold, some flowers. These are fake flowers, but they're really pretty. I chose kind of cream and pink as the color palette. And then just a disposable tablecloth. This one's in gold. And what you're going to do is take two rubber bands, put them at the top and low of the bottle, and use these to secure your flowers to the bottle in. Um, this is where fake flowers kind of help because real flowers might end up dying. But I just have five little bunches of them and I'm putting them in the rubber bands in and around the bottle until it creates kind of like a little bouquet of flowers and the bottle is hidden in the center of them. Once you have that all done, um, I pushed them to the bottom, the, the ends of the stems so they touch the tabletop and that actually was perfect because the top of the bottle was sticking through the petals so you could kind of see that there was some wine in there but from an angle or if you weren't really paying attention, it just kind of looks like a bouquet of flowers. Here's two pictures of kind of how it turns out stationary at this point. Up next is completing the look to make it look like an actual bouquet that you bought from the store. So what I'm going to do is take my tablecloth, which kind of alternates between looking gold and silver on the camera. I'm not quite sure why, but it's definitely gold. I'm going to open it up and just cut myself a nice big square that the wine bottle is going to fit in. Place the wine bottle down about center, so the bottom of the bottle is kind of in the center, but do it at an angle to the corner, and then fold up the other side. I did leave this um, kind of double-sided, because that's how it came, um, so it's two of the gold foils, but fold up all the corners and add the ribbon beneath it, and then just tie the ribbon really, really tight around the bottle so that it's holding the um, kind of cellophane-y type tablecloth to it and then you can tie a little bow on top of that and that's going to keep the flowers and everything together so that it's much easier to hold and it's super cute. I'm going to pop up some pictures so you can see kind of how that turned out but this one's might even be my favorite. It's super adorable. I love it. So this is kind of how it looks coming up from the side and from the top down. It really does look like a bouquet um, but then when you look closely you can see the wine in there so it's just like a little hidden surprise. I really do love this one. I think it's super adorable. Next up on the list is if you want to give a beautiful scarf with the wine. This is a scarf that I have from Italy and it's going to be more of a simple way of presenting wine but sometimes it doesn't need all the fanfare. You know a nice bottle of wine with a beautiful scarf is plenty as well. So for this one, you're going to want to lay the scarf out. I have a large square scarf, so I just did it diagonally corner to corner. And then roll down the top couple inches onto themselves until you have a shorter triangle to work with, with the longer um, folded over edge at the top. With that, you can um, just wrap it around the neck of the scarf with the folded over edge on the outside and the triangle is pointed down. And then tie just 
honestly just a basic square knot but tie it tightly around the neck of the bottle so that it is secure and isn't going anywhere and then once that's on there you can kind of pull down the triangles because they're going to kind of creep up on you a little bit but that's just more of a presentation thing and that's it because that's just a beautiful way of presenting it it's cute you know you can tell right away what it is it's a scarf and a bottle of wine but it's also very pretty and these are just a few different angles of what it looks like um, laying down just so you can kind of see and get an idea of what it looks like with the scarf. The last look will be pretty whimsical as well. This is a gold wire charger. It's pretty flexible. It's the same thing I used in my arranging roses video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it above. You're also going to need a hot glue gun and some seashells and then just a bit of twine as well. So if you take your hot glue gun and put some hot glue on a shell and then stick it to the charger and then I actually found that turning it over worked best because not all of the little wires would hit the hot glue so you're going, going to want to reinforce it with a little bit of hot glue on the other side and you're going to want to take probably at least five but maybe no more than seven or eight seashells to, chew, uh, to glue to the charger and this is going to give it a nice kind of bottom of the sea shells are attaching to it look but at the same point in time not be overly cluttered and it is gold so it's kind of like a blinged out fishing net which I love but just basically go back and forth until you end up with something that looks a little bit like that cut yourself off a piece of twine lay the bottle on top of it seashell side out and then fold it over and what you're going to want to do is take your twine and poke it through the holes of the charger and just kind of do like a rough stitch with it. It doesn't need to be tiny. Actually, the larger the stitch, the better because then it kind of looks like something was caught in a net at the bottom of the sea, which is the look we're going for, kind of a mermaidy, you know, seashell, whimsical type of look. So up the edges so that the wine won't fall out the bottom. And then just continue stitching until you kind of run out of that side of the thread and then tie it off just with a couple of half hitches so that it's not going anywhere and nothing is going to unravel. And then you're going to want to take the other side of the string, which is still relatively long. And I just used this side for decoration. I thought it might look a little bit funny if there was non-gold twine on one side but not on the other so really all I did with the second one was run it around the back of the bottle, kind of weaving it in and out of the gold charger, just more for an aesthetic than any structural support, but just kind of in and out and then brought it back around to the back and kind of stitched the two sides together just for extra reinforcement and then tied that side off as well. And that's basically it. Like this is the look. It's super cute. It's really fun. It's a little bit out there. It's a little bit different. But it's really great, um, I mean really for anything in and of itself, but if you're going for like a patio party or a pool party or a beach party, it's totally perfect. But otherwise it's just kind of an adorable little presentation. You've got the seashells, the gold, the net. I love this one. It's awesome. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing, giving the video a thumbs up. I'll link everything you need to make any of these um, wrapping looks down in the description along with my socials. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.